Also, Peshtari is the only person in Canada ever accused of successfully recruiting others to join ISIS, including two Ottawa area men, Khader Khalib and John McGuire. You either pack your bags or you prepare your explosive devices. McGuire became notorious for posting videos calling on Canadian Muslims to kill unbelievers. Both men are believed to have died in Syria. Today, prosecutors read a statement from McGuire's mother saying it made her sad and angry that Peshtari would get a second chance, but her son never would. Trial delays meant Peshtari spent over eight years already in pre-trial custody, and that's one reason for the lenient sentence handed down today. Only 21 months left to serve, followed by three years probation. His lawyer says he also showed sincere remorse and has changed. Mr. Peshtari was 16 when he was first approached and groomed by radical individuals uh, who he encountered. I don't think anybody would want to be defined by their ideology that they began when they were 16 years old. Prosecutors backed the sentencing recommendation, but... We're not necessarily convinced that he's um, been rehabilitated because he was successful in doing what he was because he's a very persuasive and educated uh, individual. The problem is is that people lie. Phil Gursky worked on Project Samosa, the CSIS RCMP investigation that first put Peshtari on the radar. The bottom line is that, yes, it is possible for people to change their minds. The challenge for us, in whether it's security intelligence or law enforcement or society in general, is how do you make that determination? Peshtari certainly sounded remorseful in court today where he said he'd failed his family and the Muslim community and was ashamed of his past actions and beliefs. He also thanked the RCMP for arresting him, saying it probably saved his life. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.